Andy Hamilton and Track Wrestling here at the Multi-Divisional National Duels, which will get kicked off Thursday. I'm here with three-time Division Three National Champion Riley Lefevre of Wabash. Uh, Riley, you had a chance to wrestle Midlands last week. Yep. Um, what were the big takeaways for you from that tournament? Um, it was kind of a rough tournament for me. I didn't, didn't go in there and uh, do as well as I planned, but it was, uh, you know, always a uh, opportunity and uh, good privilege to go out there and wrestle. Uh, a lot of takeaways, you know, all, all my matches are pretty close, one point, couple point matches. Um, a lot, a lot of take away from those matches, you know, if, if when you wrestle, you want to win the close matches. Well, my high school coach always say, if you want to impress me, win the close matches. So um, I, I came out uh, two and two, um, but it was a fun, fun experiment, experience. Uh, wish I could have gone, gone better, but um, um, I guess I got stuff to work on and can turn around to the second half of the season and prove even more. So it gives me uh, some stuff to work on. What did you take away, though, I mean, from things that you can work on? I mean, obviously, oh, you've, yeah. you've post, posted victories over guys at that level. I mean, yeah. you, beat, you beat the eventual champion yeah. earlier this year. You beat Aaron wow. Studebaker from Nebraska in Ames. So you've, you've had experiences against these guys and, and success against guys that are ranked pretty high at the Division I level. Uh, from the Midlands, um, when, you, when you look at it in terms of fine-tuning what you have to do the rest of the way, and, and obviously you're... You're not going to see guys like Studebaker yeah. week after week, but uh, what do you think uh, to, to make you a better wrestler? What did you learn from that tournament? I just got to get back to my offense and keep on attacking and moving. I feel like if I would have wrestled um, like I did in those first couple tournaments at Eastern Michigan and Ames and Iowa State and wrestled those guys, I felt like I would have um, done better. Just give me gives me a reminder, things I got to work on and practice every day so I can get back attacking, moving, um, you know, always Forcing, um, forcing position and uh, the pace of the match, and just gives me reminders not to, you know, always stuff to work on. So I don't know. There's a lot of things that I guess I can take away. Just, um, just gotta get back to wrestling, having fun, and improving, basically. What are those tournaments like for you to get to test your skills like that? You know, you've had a lot of success at them mm -hmm. too. Uh, they're a lot of fun, especially when I go out there and I feel like I wrestle my best. I, they're a lot of fun. You know, I, I get to wrestle in a lot of tournaments over the summer. Um, like University Nationals, I've gone to Midlands twice now. A lot of tournaments where a lot of D3 wrestlers don't really wrestle at. Um, it's a lot of fun to test myself against those guys. Um, just to test myself, see where I'm at, and uh, improve on from there, basically. Uh, for people that aren't familiar with your story, you know, you, you were a Fargo finalist. How did, how did you wind up at Wabash? How did that... uh, the big, biggest part was my brothers. They came here. They actually uh, started out at Indiana Tech NAIA school. But then they transferred here, and they were the big reason that I, I came here because in high school we only got to wrestle two years together, um, and it was fun wrestling with them together on, the, on varsity. So uh, that was a big motivation for me to come to Wabash, get to wrestle with them again, and because uh, it's always fun to wrestle with my brothers. And uh, so that was a big motivation. But I found out about Wabash through Coach Anderson's camp, um, and then from there I came on a visit. My brothers ended up going here, so. Um, it's really got a good fit of academics, athletics, and uh, a lot of people don't know this is an all-male school too, but uh, you know, it all just worked out and it's a pretty awesome place. So you're making the pursuit for a fourth title. When, when did you start thinking about winning a fourth title? Um, when did you think it was possible? After I won three. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can only take one at a time, so um, try to just do like do it just like that, one match at a time. Don't look too far ahead, because um, that's when I get in trouble. I mean, like, don't. I mean, a lot of guys get in trouble when they look far ahead. Don't look. Um, take match by match. You know, um, you just gotta wrestle match in a match. Keep on um, focusing on your effort, and improving. Just have fun, basically. So, I mean, I thought about it, but now it's a real concrete goal since I've won three and I can actually win four, I guess. Uh, when you win the first one, if, if you look back to the progress you've made since number one, mm -hmm. where have you made the most gains as a wrestler? Um, I don't know. Maybe I feel like a lot of things have changed. Um, I'd probably say most notably on my feet, just because that's my favorite place to wrestle. Um, that's why I enjoy wrestling freestyle so much, because most of the action's on your feet. Um, a lot of takedowns, that's my favorite part. Um, bottom and top, never really a problem for me, but just takedowns, scoring a lot of takedowns, scoring a lot of points, moving guys, snapping them to the mat. Um, 
get into legs and scoring from there. Um, I also like lifting and returning guys to the mat when I'm on top. That's a lot of fun, but a lot of leg attacks and movement in my feet. What's next for your wrestling career after March? Um, I'm not too sure yet. Still deciding, talking with Coach Anderson. He has some connections with some RTCs. Um, that's in the back of my head. But uh, first, I gotta get, I'm getting married in August. So after that, I gotta cycle that in too um, with uh, my fiance Madison. So gotta do that and I uh, think, hopefully find a place where I can join an RTC and maybe wrestle for a cycle or two, see how that goes. Um, test myself against those guys. You wanna coach too, right? Oh, I love, I love to coach after, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks so much for the time, Riley. Thank Appreciate you. it and good luck the rest of the way. Appreciate it, thank you.